Game in chat. Rim world. All right. So we just got the caravan back. We got this guy coming in, and we want to set him up to be useful. Let's open up the work tab, see what he's good at. Good at handling, handling. I'm going to move him up. We don't have the warg anymore. I'm also going to make him a hunter. Um, uh, keep it three. His researching is good. I'm going to move that up to a two. He'll be my primary researcher. And the rest of it, I'm not overly, I'm not like, yeah, this is the guy. You know what I mean? But we'll use him to hunt. We'll use him to handle. He'll kind of be our animal guy. The rest of it doesn't look overly great. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, do we still need him? We need people. We got heaters going. We're kind of ready, more or less, for the winter. We could be adding some vents to the rooms in preparation. And so we may, we may actually take a second and just knock that out. Now that Bear's back in the mining is back to being somewhat fast. So what I'm doing is for each of the rooms I'm going to add a vent with the thought being we will use the heaters and the AC in the hallway and it'll it'll spill over into the rooms. So you notice the rooms are substantially cooler than the hallway because the heaters in the hallway. So we're gonna fix that. So we, we, we kind of drill a hole and we put a vent in it works. Expand this out to this. Also go ahead and flag these for mining too. And you want to be careful with how big you make some of the rooms because if you make them too big, it will cave in and that's not ideal, obviously. But I don't think we're anywhere near that size yet. This is the biggest room and it's it's not close. We still have, and we have plenty, plenty of steel, I think, right now. Yeah, so overall not too bad. Anyway, we're off to a, a decent start. Um, hopefully this one is pretty smooth and we're able to get more or less on our feet. Where is he going? What is this? Did he just plant that? Just remove it. I don't, yeah, that's weird. I don't know how that, landed, how that ended up there. We may actually want to tame some of these donkeys now that we have an animal handler. I could use some donkeys. They're going to help haul stuff. Here we go. Good. Okay. Here we go. Getting our vents in place for our bedrooms. Good. And we got donkeys immediately. Actually, that's a lot of donkeys. Real fast. We picked up those donkeys real fast. That's good and bad. We can use them for meat if we need to. I do want them to, uh, oh, I'm gonna pull them back out into grazing animals, move these guys into grazing animals. I'm still worried about this bear, but that's okay. It's gonna work out. And we're putting in place another, another bedroom, or probably two, because we do need to get we need to get a prison in place. We have we have some stuff to we we know we're not we're far from done with the base, you know. What is Sakura doing? I mean, I don't really need him mining. Where is his mine? Two and bump it to a three. So ultimately, we need we need some people crafting. Bear can mine like crazy. Yeah, good. We don't have anyone else flagged as cold, which is good. We're ready for the winter. We do have some tattered apparel, which we'll, we'll have to figure that out. But it's not, that's not the end of the world. And we have all the vents going, so now everyone is comfortable in their rooms. Going well. This is, this is shaping up. And I could probably use a few more, a few more animal, animal belt beds in here. So we'll set that up real quick whenever someone gets a second I can pop back in there oh are we out of, are we out of cloth no we're not we have a quest available Maria he a baroness of the fallen empire has been caught in bed with the wrong person she's imprisoned the inappropriate lover in a show of rejection now she wants you to keep the prisoner until the scandal blows over in 14 days I hold a prisoner I don't I, 
I'm going to pass. And the, the reason I'm passing is I don't have, I am a little worried about my food store for the winter where it's really early on. We have a couple hunters, but I don't have great range right now. And we, we know we're, we're getting an auto door and then we'll probably go for the recurve bow so we can get some range, some actual hunting going on. But that's going to take a second. And I don't really want to contrib can I don't really want to uh, agree to, to feed someone else until I have that in place. Ultimately, expand out this storage zone here, and we're still doing well. Let's see. Are these guys both mining? Again, for the people who are mining, don't mine. Let Bear do it. That's what they're there for. Do everything else. As you can see, we actually got it clean. It's coming along. Maybe it's time to start to use some of our stone bricks and actually do something with them. You know what I mean? That could be that could be the next step. Alternatively, we could also build out some some defenses. So I think we do, we have some options. We're out of the immediate need stage, which usually hits in the winter. I'm actually. I wonder if I re if I change my research. Do I lose my current research? I don't. Okay, good. I don't. And the goal here is I want to research, get the bow, give the bow to someone, and then have them head out and go actually get some hunting in place because we are going to need lots of food. We have all of this stuff, I believe. And so what we're doing is we're checking to make sure we got everything we need. I still don't have... Hmm. What's this? Advanced component. I'm not in for an advanced component yet. That's that's still a good ways out, in my opinion. So we're we're still doing. I feel like we're still doing well. You know, we have everything. We're we're, we're going okay. I'm actually probably even ready to build out. That might be a great place for a, another temperature control. Yeah, keep training the donkeys. <coughs> Excuse me. As a if you train the donkeys, it'll get better and better because then they will actually attack and haul stuff and, and help us out. Alright, we'll pause it. You guys are kind of more or less caught up. We'll see what happens this session. Okay, we had something happen pretty quickly. As we, as we drilled out this bedroom, we found a little open spot here. Um, I mean, it's not great. It's not, it's not like, hey, this is awesome. It's also not bad. What I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to construct and just kind of build it back in, you know? Because ultimately, can I not build there? That's a little weird. Oh. Hold on. Cancel everything. Because, yeah, made a mistake. It's a wet terrain. terrain. So I'm going to have to build a little differently than I would have liked. Okay, we'll build it like this. I'll just construct it here, and then I do, I do, I like to put a door in, not because it's any, it's an extreme need, but more in the sense that sometimes they'll get trapped on the other side, and then they're like, oh, I'm stuck, I've built myself into this room. They don't do a lot of critical thinking, so it's okay, we, we just we take steps to make sure it doesn't happen to them. And this will be, I guess, another bedroom. to be a little smaller than some of the other bedrooms. That's okay, and probably even a little different design because of, you know, we got some other stuff to worry about. I'm still gonna have most of the same stuff in there though. If you keep all the bedrooms pretty much the same, it keeps them a little happier. That right, bear. Do we have anyone, oh, is he just, oh, just sleeping out there? Not ideal. But we, we, do, we do have a good research on the, on the bow going, which is helpful. So, fun little, fun little thing we found. That's about it. Let's catch you on in a second. Okay, guys, we just finished the recurve bow, so we can actually get an effective and inexpensive range weapon going. That's going to be very useful. I also want to get beer brewing. That is, from the last game, very, very financially lucrative. So we're going to go ahead and set that up. 
Um, I'm not real sure how I build the, feels about the same, the wooden bow. So I'm kind of trying to figure that part out because that would be the next step is to, hey, let's build a bow, you know? Let's see. <laughs> Security. I'm kind of with on production. Let's check, let's check some of these. Not in there. Not in there. I don't think it'll be on the research. What was this? Drugs. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take them. Maybe we can sell them. Muffalos are usually pretty good too. I will want to tame these guys. We don't want to tame too many up front, but we do want to tame some of them. And you guys may say, okay, that's great and all. How do you make a bow? And that's where I am too. Maybe it's a smelter. Maybe we maybe we build a smelter. And that's and that is that is where we're at. Just because of the thing, I can move you. I'm gonna build an electric smelt smelter. The thought is, if it's a smelter, great, and then we can we can use it to build the bows and we start to get some of the food. That's the that's the goal here. It could be great, could not be great. And my, my royal guy is just unhappy with me, but he can just kind of whatever, you know. Good. And we got some donkeys who are getting close to haul. So we got here, bills. Uh, we got smelt metal from slag, and we got destroy stuff, but we don't have anything, any real usage. I'm going to kill the power on it. Hmm. So I don't really know how to build a bow. All right? I know, I know, but I really don't. I don't know if I've just missed researching something. Smithing? Probably smithing. Do we want to pivot out of that into smithing? Do I think that's what it is? That's probably what I've missed. Where do I build it? I can also, I can, okay. So I, I, I can use a smithy or a crafting spot. I'm gonna put down a crafting spot to do it. And we're gonna go ahead and finish up beer brewing for now. But I will put in place a crafting spot. And this will just be where we make bows for a minute. Oh good, oh yeah, okay. Make a recover bow, uh, put two. I think he's usually my guy. Oh, I don't know if I have anyone who can make it. Let's just keep, okay. Yeah, Rat will do it for me. Rat will make it, and then we'll get our bow. You can see bears just now cleared out another section. And really what we're doing now is I am actually putting in place some more storage. It's gonna be a little different type, and that's okay. But the goal is make it easy to easy to run through. Let's see how's this going. Did you finish it? Good. All right, that bow is for you. And you are going to go get us some food. So rather than try and walk around, hey, where are all these animals? I'm gonna go in here into the wildlife and figure out what I want them to hunt. And it's a lot less than what it was originally. You can hunt the gazelles though. So we flagged those gazelles to be hunted and someone will go, probably this is, it. No, no, this ready to harvest? Almost. So we, we sent them out after the gazelles. Yeah, there they are. Hunting the gazelle. 
Silver? Plastic. Okay. They'll pull back some meat, in which it'll be useful for us. And we're probably good with this being our two crafting rooms to start in on a throne room, which I'd like to put kind of right down here. They'll put a big bedroom down here for them. This might be the balcony or a little, little greenhouse. How are we doing on food? I think we're okay. We still have a pretty decent amount of food and a decent amount of supplies in there. So overall not bad. We are low on medicine. I don't see a lot of meds. But that's okay. And we also have a lot, a lot of bricks. So maybe it's time to start to, to put some stone down. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and get that rolling. Ooh, fine one. It just came right inside again. How do how, how am I supposed to stop that? Without killing, I mean, I can probably potentially kill the bear. That's even that seems really risky right now. But he is back inside my my place. He ate, he ate the entire goat. Is that being held open. So the bear clears out. See, that bear is a problem. He's a problem for me. See, he's still in here? Yep. I'm almost keen just to shut the bear out. Maybe I can enclose him in something and just let him starve. Was it red? I know my goat died. Good. And we finished the beer brewing. That's useful. I'm going to go back and we're gonna pick up smithing. Because that will get us some much much better equipment. We can get swords and stuff. Oh crap, a fire. It's in my field. It's okay. I think we're in, I think we're in not, not too bad of a spot. So overall, we're moving along. But we're, we've got a good ways left to, to, to make all this work. That bear is just hanging out. And you could easily start to hunt one of my other animals for food. Hmm. We actually may be running low on food too. How are we about about halfway through December? Maybe maybe we maybe we pick a fight with the bear. I don't know, I feel that feels just a recipe for disaster. In my opinion. Feels like a recipe for disaster. I did that wrong. Hold on, let me try to expand this. That's better. Okay. Where is this bear? It's sleeping inside my, my cave. Yeah, buffalo. That's good. I think we're gonna have to fight the bear. I think we're gonna have to fight the bear, guys. We're leaving the door open. He's just not taking the bait. Let's do this. Stay close. We're going to finish out some more. Okay. All right, bear. And the goal here is I'm trying to kind of box the bear out, if you know what I mean. Side. I think that was a dumb one. I should just move it into here. Where is the bear now? Where did the bear go? I lost the, where the bear went. Did it leave? 
Am I? Yeah. Okay, it's back out. Close this door. And so you may say, why? Why have all these additional doors? And those are to keep the bears out. <laughs> you just watch them build them out because like the bears, man. He's ready to harvest, almost. Where are we putting those that they are? And bro's is worth a good amount. We want to hold on to it. You'll see that really coming. Good, we got another buffalo. Uh, let's see. Believe we definitely picked up there at his brewery. I'm gonna put in place a brewery. Because we do make quite a bit of beer and that'll happen as it, as it as the winter rolls around but we want to make sure we're ready for it because we will be able to make a good amount of money to fund our tribe when that hits and this is kind of how the game is played we still have a lot to do with our with our our place we need to set up set in place a hydroponics farm inside we'll get to that in the near future Right, it comes a little bit, a little bit after some of the rest of these. But I mean, we're, I think we're making good progress overall, and so I'm, I'm, I'm encouraged with it. We have quite a bit already done. I am, I am curious what all we need to build as we get. Uh, oh, we have some actually idle people. That is entirely new. All right, I can fix that idle right out of the gate. We're just moving all these rocks. And we don't even have a, we still don't even have a, a jail. So we, we, you know, we, there's still lots to do. So I'm not overly worried about the idol. But it's good to see. And we may actually have to go on a bear hunt soon. You see, I'm just finishing up getting the rocks out of the place. But it's good. How are we on food? For the 10th of December, I mean, we're not bad, but we ain't great. It's better than having zero food, though. So I think we're okay for it. And come, come, uh, ooh, how long? That for five days? That's too long. Love us. Oh, good. Good and. Ooh, what happened here? It must have been a big fire up in there. That's how it happens sometimes. Up here we got an ambrosia bush, another bear. How long has this one been dead? Too long. No, it's still fresh. I'll go get it. Oh, I'll send someone to go get that. In good haul. Go get it, bud. So we're kind of looking around for meat and other stuff on the map. Alpacas. I can hunt those safely, I believe. Yep, I'm gonna have those. Gonna get those hunted. A couple of bucks and a doe. Also hunt those. Cool. And the grizzly. I mean, you just don't mess with grizzlies. But we're coming along. I'm very encouraged with where we are, with how far we've come in this. No one should be idle, but we, we've definitely we've definitely done well, I think. Definitely done well. Let's see. I may call it here. I'm getting a little tired. So, gaming chat out. This was fun. Catch y'all on RimWorld next time. Goodbye.